Hi guys, welcome back to another Autocraft Motor Caravans tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the Sync Hob Combination Unit Kits. We've put this kit together to make it as easy as possible for the self build enthusiast to get water and gas into the vehicle. Firstly, we'll just look at a combination unit. So here we've got the 9 treble tutu, but it doesn't matter which unit you're looking at, simply because on the underside they all have the 8mm outlet. So the 8mm outlet, we supply the 8mm straight with copper olives, so it gets a nice tight grip on there, and that goes onto the end of the sink hob, and that's where you start the process to get into the cover for the gas. From there, you will move onto the copper pipe. So once this is attached to that side, you can attach the copper pipe to the 8mm straight, and run into the cupboard onto the bulkhead nozzle. The bulkhead nozzle has an 8mm compression fitting on one side and a half inch fitting for, on the other side so we can get onto the orange flex. The orange flex will push onto one side nice and easy and from the other side we'll go onto the 907 camping gas regulator. We supply the 907 camping gas regulator simply because from past experience and what we sell most in the shop and also what we put in our vehicles this is the most popular way. If you did want to make any slight tweaks to this kit, please don't hesitate to give us a call or an email and we can sort it out so you can have a butane regulator, a propane regulator, whatever suits you. So once you're into the cupboard onto the gas regulator, we supply the gas drop vent. So once you know which cupboard it's going to be in, or if you're going to use a gas safe locker, which you'll see in the related products, you have the gas drop vent. Put this through the floor, so if there is ever a leak inside the van, it's a safety aspect and the gas will just draw out of the floor. If it's in a gas locker or even in a cupboard, you've got the gas bottle strap. So this keeps the gas bottle nice and secure to the side of the van, so when you drive around there's no movement, the gas bottle's not falling over, keeps it nice and secure. And again, if you want it to carry two gas bottles, you can purchase another gas bottle strap, again, in the related products below. All the water and waste fittings, what we're going to come on to, will be supplied with Jubilee clips and P-clips to suit. So you've got the right amount of Jubilee clips and a good selection of P-clips to hold all the pipe work nice and tight to the side of the vehicle to ensure when you're moving around or putting stuff in the cupboard you're not going to grab all of the pipe and, and loosen any connections and create any leaks. So that's all the P-clips just there and again just nice and easy, screw to the side of the van and it'll hold everything in place. Next we'll look at the two, tap, two taps that we supply with this kit. So you'll notice if you choose one of the taps, the London tap in the drop down bar, there'll be a price difference there. The Comet Florence tap is the slightly better quality tap. You've got the longer pigtail on the bottom and it also gives you the, um, the use of having a 12mm speed fit. If you ever want to change from flex pipe onto speed fit, you can do that on the bottom here. Both of the taps have the two wires for the micro switch coming out of the bottom. So, Every kit comes with an installation guide and you can see here it's explained nice and easily where you earth, come into your battery, onto your tap and right onto your sub pump. So we've made it again as easy as possible so you guys can get it there, do it from home, um, which is obviously what, what most people are wanting to do when you're buying a kit like this. Obviously from the tap you've got the half inch pipe, which again you can choose how many meters you want so there's no waste. The half inch pipe will go onto your sub pump and the sub pump will go into the 10 litre water container. All 10 litre water containers come with the red cap which screws onto the top when you're not using it and it also comes with a nice tight sealed um, bung. When you've got the sub pump into the container you simply drill a small hole and bring the pipe through this cap. If you did want to carry 20 litres so you wanted to purchase another 10 litre container you can see that in the related products simply means that you can carry 20 litres of water. Finally, we'll just have a quick look at the waste. So all the sink hob combination units come with a three quarter outlet for the waste. Again, supplied with Jubilee clips and P-clips to make it nice and easy. And you come off of your sink hob combination unit onto the outlet. The waste outlet is to the outside of the vehicle. Some people may not want to supply it, may not want to bring it to the outside of the vehicle. So what you can do is have another 10 litre water container of your waste water all inside the vehicle. This waste outlet socket, you can hide it nice and easily underneath the sill of the vehicle. So when you're on a campsite, you can run it into a waste container. If you're wild camping, it's only 10 litres of water, so it's not a problem just to let it run out. Again, thank you very much for listening to this tutorial. Um, I hope it's been helpful as always. 
And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We're also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram with Daily Deals. Thank you very much.